how do you balance couple time versus individual time? My spouse <laughs> thinks we should do all caps, everything all caps. together. I think that it's not healthy for us. <laughs> Josh, did you text this question in? <laughs> Josh, uh, that's not good. funny. <laughs> That is a great question, and I do think, you know, um, biblically, I would say the the danger for us, like if I look back on our relationship, there is this mystery that happens in two people coming together and and becoming one, and uh, you can early on, I think it's important to have a break and and learn what does this look like, but there's no question, uh, I don't want to be Katie's girlfriend, I'm glad she has Lisa, Jenna, some girlfriends as accountability partners, Um, I need her to be my lover, you know, if you will. And so all things, I want her to be a recreational companion. I want her to be my friend and buddy. But, uh, but I think it's important that we have some space, you know. Um, I, I wouldn't, yeah. I'd say it's probably different for every couple. Yeah, but, yeah uh, I was going to say that. You need to know your spouse. You yeah, know? and I think just speaking um, as someone whose love language is quality time, the, qu- the other question is, is the time that you are spending together, is it quality time? Yeah. Because... Someone with a love language of quality time, you got rules around that. Like, okay, if you're sitting there looking at your phone, this ain't quality time. If we're sitting here. (laughs) (laughs) So, I I mean, I am great with him having guys nights and doing things, you know, without me. Um, But if I haven't had any quality time in weeks, there's an issue. Yeah. So yeah. just doing, you know, whatever, kids and dinner and just the normal routine is great, but it's still we need time one-on-one. That's we really need good. to go on a date. We need to connect. That's good. 